All right, I'm Katie. I'm Chris with PDQ.com. We're here to talk to you about controlled folders, which is a snazzy new feature in the upcoming release of the of Windows 10 this fall. That's right, Fall Creators Update. You've probably heard about it, you've probably read about it, but here's one feature that you might have overlooked. True. Controlled folders seems to be Microsoft's response to the recent malware that has been released, like WannaCrypt, WannaCry. Yep. It is. And part of that is because recent trends uh, that we've seen with a lot of these uh, ransomware variants is that it's actually affecting local users, excuse me, non-privileged users uh, to make it so that their data, their videos, their documents, their music, whatever, that you don't need administrative access for, to damage those. So Encrypts them and holds them hostage. Yeah, essentially. So why don't we just dive right in and show them exactly what we're working with. Sure. So you'll find controlled folders in the Windows Defender Security Center under Virus and Threat Protection, Virus and Threat Protection Settings, Clever. and closer to the bottom. It's off by default, which is a good sign, so you won't start to see uh, symptoms of this enabled features cropping up around in your network. You can turn it on with the click of two buttons, Ooh. and it's there. By default, the protected folders are your logged on user and the public user's dos desktop documents, pictures, music, videos, all of these folders. So the important places your users save files. Yes, and it is important to note that, at least as of uh, today, we've looked at over all the Insider Preview blogs and all the information that's out there about this uh, particular feature, controlled folder access. As of yet, you cannot remove these default locations. Nope, you There's can click no on them way. all you like and that's you're it. set. Yep. So you can add a protected folder by clicking this cute little plus sign yes. and browsing to a folder. A cute little folder, in fact. Yes, the adorable icons. Oh. So I will enable this for this folder called Shared Files, where I've got a couple documents. And select folder. Yes, you may have permission. And there it is. Cool. It's enabled. If you want to undo that, you can click the Remove button, and it'll go away. Yay. Yay. Seems pretty easy, and it is. Yeah. You can allow an app through the controlled folder access. If you have an application that's important to your users or your business, you can add that app by clicking the matching plus sign and browsing to a location of your choice. Find your app, allow it. And life is good. Life is good. And it's important to know that what this does is it, it allows this application to write to a folder that is being protected by controlled folder access. So if you just lock it up, nothing can access it except a, except a small, List of mysterious list of friendly apps determined by Microsoft. Yeah, we don't Not know what they published. are. <laughs> so that being said, this will bypass that. So if you have an application that needs to write to a special folder, this is how you would do it. Correct. We have noticed some interesting behavior regarding friendly apps. We're not sure what they are, but we're attributing any of that bizarre behavior to the fact that this is still in insider preview status. Right. So hopefully it receives a little bit of TLC from Microsoft before its debut. If not, we'll probably see it change pretty quickly uh, thereafter because uh, if you enable this feature all willy-nilly, you're going to end up with a lot of users who are upset because they cannot do anything. Windows will be upset because it can't do anything to a lot of those <laughs> folders. There's, it's true. So just be aware. Uh, what you can do, however, if you do wish to implement this and you do decide and test it on a test environment, we can't stress that enough, test before you implement this. If you do that, there are what appear to be some group policies that you can configure this with. Yes, we've seen these in the local group policy editor. There's these three, configure allowed applications, configure controlled folder access, and configure protected folders. These are present in the server 2016. Yep, the core preview that's out there. Yep, so presumably they'll be pr available in the actual release of the next upcoming server. Yep, so we're assuming it, we're because of this assumption, we're telling you about it, but if it's not there, don't hold us to it. Hold Microsoft to it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, but once we have it configured, uh, how do you tell if something's blocked? Uh, great. So, in in the event viewer, under Applications and Services Logs, Microsoft, Windows, and all the way down to the W's, uh, the way down the window. there. Windows Defender, <laughs> in the operational, you've got event ID 1123 will tell you the path that was 
something had attempted to access as well as the application that attempted to access that path. So you've got both pieces of information that you need to know. So okay. hopefully this will help you troubleshoot any issues that you do run into. Also note that while you can enable or disable this from the, the GUI, this feature can also have a, a third audit mode. But just be aware, when we've, when we've tested this in our own uh, lab, it's very chatty. Very chatty. So, it's very chatty enabled or audited. Yes, <laughs> so be aware. But it's there, it exists as part of the group policy that you can set. But that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It is Microsoft's answer to uh, this, this new variant of malware, but it is a slimmed down feature of what other third party applications do provide. Correct. You can find, you know, top security companies that offer paid versions of their software that do the same thing and they give you a little bit more control yeah. in your environment, probably because you paid for them. Probably. But speaking of that control, though, one last thing I'm going to bring up and not go into detail much on because there's, there's a lot of complexity with this is PowerShell. You can also configure these with PowerShell using uh, the Windows Defender module. This allows you to configure the settings using uh, the commandlet uh, set MP preference, and you can configure the list of directories that you want to protect. You can configure the list of applications that you wish to whitelist, and pretty much everything about it. Just be aware that it's there. If you're comfortable with PowerShell, look it up. Yep, it's uh, sparsely documented for now. We hope that that'll get beefed up as this feature comes out. Yes, we're hopeful. For general <laughs> availability. But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching uh, about Control Folder Access. I'm Chris. I'm Katie. Bye. Bye.